Hi everyone and welcome back to our Mindful Moments video series. In today's video, I'm going to guide you through a powerful yet simple breathing technique to help you restore and balance mind, body, and emotions. The technique we're going to be practicing today is called Nadi Sodhana or alternate nostril breathing. And in Sanskrit, Nadi Sodhana literally means clearing the channels of circulation. And that's what this technique does for us. So when we're going throughout our day and you feel that stress beginning to rise within you, or maybe you just feel overwhelmed with a lot of different tasks that you're trying to manage and complete at the same time between working from home, taking care of kids, and just trying to retain some sense of normalcy during this period, it can feel really overwhelming. And on Tuesday, we went over some powerful techniques you can use to help yourself relax before sleep. You can also use this breathing technique to help you sleep better as well. So what Nadi Sudana does is it helps balance our right and left hemisphere because we're alternating when we're breathing in through the right and left nostril. It helps us improve our focus and clarity. It helps us remove toxins from our body and it really clears any energetic channels that may be stuck, which helps our emotions move through our body as well. So to practice Nadi Sodhana, or alternate nostril breathing, all you need to do is sit in a comfortable position. You're gonna take your left palm and just rest it gently in your lap. And then you can use your right hand and just bringing the pointer finger and your middle finger up to the center of your brow. You're gonna place your thumb over your right nostril and then your ring finger and your pinky finger over the left nostril. Now, as we breathe, we're going to block off the left nostril first Pressing down, inhale through the right. Then we're going to close off both, hold, exhale through the left. Inhaling through the left this time. Hold, releasing the right and exhaling through the right. Usually about five to 10 rounds is the best way to reset and recalibrate our mind, our body, and our emotional state. So we're gonna practice five rounds together. If you are pregnant, I don't recommend holding the breath at the top, so you can just breathe in through one side and then immediately exhale through the other. So don't worry about the hold at the top. For the rest of us, you can simply follow along as I guide you in the next five rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So first, let's close our eyes and taking a deep breath in and open mouth exhale. Now placing your pointer finger and your middle finger just between the brows and resting that right thumb over the right nostril and then the right ring finger and pinky finger over the left. You can close your eyes or keep them open. We're gonna start by closing off that left nostril, inhaling through the right, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale left, two, three, four. Inhale left, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, right, two, three, four. Inhale, right. Hold. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Hold, exhale right, inhale right, hold, exhale left, inhale left, hold, Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold. 
exhale left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Inhale right. Hold. Exhale left. Inhale left. Hold. Exhale right. Releasing the right hand to your lap. Take another deep breath in together. And open mouth exhale to release. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me in this powerful breathing technique of Nadi Sodhana, alternate nostril breathing. Since this is also month of the military child, I wanted to include a breathing technique that I use multiple times a day, if not dozens of times a day with my own children. I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old little boy. And when they're in the middle of throwing a fit or, you know, just really over emotionally charged because they just haven't gotten that emotional regulation yet, which a lot of us adults are still working on, myself included. Um, it can be a really powerful way for us to help guide them to their breath and to help them connect to their body and more easily shift back into a regulated state. And it's super simple. All it is is when they're in the middle of a fit or they're having a really hard time crying over something and you get down on their level and you hear what they're going through and you're listening, just remind them, breathe in, exhale and let it go. It seems so simple and it is, but it works so well. In addition to helping them, it also helps us because as we're guiding them and reminding them to breathe, we're also reminding ourselves to breathe. And for me, that's huge because kids are really good at being in the present moment. And so they'll have this giant meltdown or temper tantrum and then they just let it go, right? Then like five seconds later, they're on to the next thing. But sometimes we get so emotionally charged from the, you know, what's being projected at us that they are, they moved on, but we haven't, right? And we're like still all worked up and they're like, what's wrong, mom? What's wrong, dad? Like, I'm fine now. And we're like, well, I'm not. <laughs> so when we breathe and we remind them to breathe and we do it ourselves, it helps calm and regulate our own breathing and our own emotional system. So that way, when they're ready to move on, we're ready to move on too. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. I hope that these techniques help you restore mind, body, emotions, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye. Ready? Yeah. So we're going to take a deep breath in and let it go. go. Deep breath in and let it go. go. One more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>